Welcome back to Entrepreneur Country TV. I'm Sarah, your co-host, and we continue to display the role of the entrepreneur in society. Today, I'm here with Stefano Lo Priore, and I'm very excited to hear what he has to say. Hi, Stefano. How are you doing? Hi, Sarah. Nice talking to you. It's very nice talking to you, too. Um, so we have prepared a couple of very exciting questions, and I'm happy to hear what you have to say. Um, but before we get started, you could maybe tell me a little bit about what Hyris does. Uh, Hyris is a biotech company and a molecular diagnostics company. What we do is a system that allows decentralized and delocalized genetic analysis. It means you can perform the same type of tests that you would in a big centralized laboratory. You can do them also in locations and in situations where typically we are not able to do that. For example, we provide biosecurity for, related to the coronavirus to entities like big mining companies in remote locations mm -hmm. where they don't have access to a nearby laboratory. Uh, the Canadian uh, Olympic teams traveling around the world to travel use us for their biosecurity. Uh, remote small hospitals that don't have uh, laboratories around the world. And uh, so that's an exciting time to, to, to bring a product like this. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. Um, what would you say is your unfair advantage of your firm compared to others? Now, uh, that might be a very common answer, but uh, I, I am really happy about our team. Young, smart, motivated super excited to work on something that's so important for the world right now. And uh, it happens over and over that we're faced with problems that at first look insurmountable. And a little time later, somebody comes up with an idea and, and uh, pretty soon we have them in the rear view mirror. Wow. And in times like COVID, I mean, you mentioned COVID tests. Would you say your firm pivoted or had any impact because of COVID? COVID had an enormous impact on our company because uh, it is an, a, an application that seems to be designed to leverage the advantages of our platform. Mm -hmm. Meaning there is a certain amount, first of all, all the world needs COVID testing. It is a founding stone of any strategy to contain the disease and the pandemic. In certain cases, the centralized laboratory approach makes an enormous sense, but there are many situations in which a decentralized near patient testing system brings really really solid advantages and this is where we're finding very good success good good um you were one of the entrepreneurs that was present at the follow the entrepreneur summit in taormina in 2019 would you tell me a little bit about your experience yeah uh, i initially thought this would be mostly a very pleasant social uh, occasion uh, to meet and chat with a smart uh, people working in the areas that we're interested in actually turned out to be a milestone in the history of the company. We actually found some investors in that situation. That was 2019. We were still mostly focused on other applications, things like food control, uh, nutrition, pharmaceutical applications, things like um, tropical diseases, mosquito-borne diseases, on which we are still working. And uh, based on that, we, we got in touch with an investment firm and that later ended up uh, entering the capital company. Wow, that's amazing. Um, how much funding has Hyris had in total? Uh, in, in that occasion, the funding was in the, um, the order of magnitude of a few million euros. Wow. Wow, that's impressive. Um, what is the market position that you hope to achieve? What's your long-term goal? Yeah, and our long-term goal would be, would be to be a market leader worldwide in decentralized genetic tests. Mm -hmm. Wow. This um, is the niche they were aiming for. And Okay, that's interesting. What, what would you say is hard or tough about what you do? Well, uh, there are, first of all, in the market that we're addressing now, medical diagnostics market, there are, first of all, very significant barriers to entry for newcomers. From this point of view, COVID acted as a barrier breaker in the sense that the size and scope of the pandemic disrupted the supply chains and the typical uh, supply processes of many of the biggest clients. 
and it gave even small companies with new interesting technologies a fighting chance that we wouldn't have had a year ago. Mm. Uh, the, the other thing is that we mostly compete with entrenched mega corporations which have been active in the areas for decades and that of course enjoy very significant advantage in terms of scale and market access. Mm. I would like to close this bringing, uh, saying that we bring to the table the speed and technological advantage of a platform. So we're a typical startup company that moves very fast and innovates at a breakneck pace. And that is typically what our large competitors uh, lack to some extent. Is that what you're most proud of in your company or would that be something else? Uh, I am very, no, I should be careful and being too proud of ourselves, of course, but uh, I'm very proud at how the company faced the existential crisis at the beginning of last year, where our traditional markets were suffering a decreasing revenues, like many other cases. Most of our partners in the advanced nutrition or food control were reducing their spending during the pandemic. I am very proud of how the company was able to regroup and reorient our business and become a medical diagnostics company in a matter of few months, which is something that's pretty much unheard of. That's amazing. Con congratulations for that. Um, coming back briefly to the FTE um, summit, is that something you would recommend to other entrepreneurs? As far as my experience goes, I would definitely recommend it. In the very worst case, you will have a fantastic few days with uh, stimulating, interesting, intelligent people. The locations are great. So this, you will not regret it, I would say to a fellow entrepreneur. And there is a, my case shows, there is a non-zero chance of having actually very interesting, solid discussions about business. Good, good. We are going to Mykonos this year. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm hoping that many of you of our community will join us. I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Um, Stefano, my last question to you today, who is the entrepreneur you admire the most and why? Uh, this is a difficult question, but uh, I, will, I will go with a safe answer in this sense. I am a big fan of Elon Musk. Okay. Okay. Because the, the approach, the vision, the, the long-term thinking about what can be disruptive and really make a positive impact on society, I, I, am, I am very impressed. I'm not the only one, but uh, I would say Elon is my favorite one. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. This was very interesting. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you soon and maybe even in Mykonos this year. Thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.